Welcome to the Techie Tessie channel. My name is Tess and today we're going to be talking about creating GUIs or GUIs as they're known in Python. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface, which allows users to interact with your program without having to actually deal with the code itself. We're going to be using the tkinter library within Python. Let me know in the comments if you actually know how to pronounce it. Is it tkinter? Tkinter? If you haven't watched our Python basics video yet, I'll link it here. Okay, so this is the GUI we're going to be creating today for our B counter app. I thought this would be fun because it shows a lot of different elements, such as a drop down menu, text entry, buttons, and some background styling. Okay, so first off, we need to make sure we have Tkinter installed. If you're on a Windows machine, you just go to your command prompt and type pip install Tkinter. And I'll leave a link in the description for how to install it on other operating systems. Once you have it installed, you're going to write this in here. From Tkinter, import. And this star here means all. So import everything from the Tkinter library. Okay, so I've commented out most of the main code here so we can start building the GUI from scratch. Also, I'm not going to be going into the code behind this application today. We're just going to be focusing on building the user interface. So once you've imported to Kinter, we're going to be using this master attribute, which allows us to manipulate the main window here. OK, so using this master attribute, we can set the title and I've set it to be counter. And we can also configure the background and I've set the background color to yellow. You can obviously set it to whatever you want. Okay, so now we're going to add some features onto our main window. So first we have the labels B type and B count, which are made down here. And the main thing to remember with this is to set which row you want them. Whoops. So B type is row zero because we start counting at zero in programming and our B count label is row one, the row underneath. Now for this drop down menu, we have quite a bit to get through. So we have to set a variable called option. And then we set it, the title of it to drop down menu. And then we have another variable called B type, which actually gives us the three options we want here and then for the text entry it's simply just entry lastly we've added some buttons so we if we want to name a button we use text equals and this here command equals this add b show b in graph data are methods that i've made further up in the code Obviously, you can use whatever methods you want. You can program whatever application you want. But if you guys want me to actually show you this application, then just let me know. And again, we have set rows and columns for where to place these buttons. And this main loop at the bottom just shows that that's the end of our interface code. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep the code coming and I'll see you next time.